cool sound effects on acid. Hey, how's the magpie? Welcome back. Thank you very much. Uh, how you been? I've been good. Great. Now, we got that out of the way. This is kind of a comeback video. I took a tiny bit of a staycation over here. 75% of you voted uh, like what to do comeback. You uh, uh, said meow. There were only two options and the other option was smashing my own face. Which I thought was kind of a funny option. Anyways, cat keyboard comeback. I guess it's sort of the best we can do for Meow. But I'm thinking what we can do here is I start a production with this and then I put down all of the files and you can finish it. And that can become like a cat album within the Magpie Pirates. So join the Discord. Got that said right out the gate. Trying to give information here. Uh, lost the train of thought because I was trying to explain the train of thought. I could do like a reaction video, maybe listening to whatever shit you made, which is probably way better shit than I would ever make. Anyways, cat keyboard mwah, has two other animal friends in its kingdom, <laughs> uh, and it's a dog guitar. And the frog ribbity ribbity drum kit. So we got the whole band here now. If you're one of the boring people who think this one is awful, you're gonna love these. Because these are way worse. Like, I like to start a song with making drums, but you can't really do that with this one. So we're gonna use the drums from the cat keyboard to start. And then I'm gonna explain a bit about why this one sucks, and we're gonna. Oh. So I'm just gonna jump straight into this because I'm thinking I'm gonna give it like an hour or so and then I can move on with my life and we can all be really happy together. So obviously the rules for this, which I'm more than happy to break, is that I can only use these three. Cause limitations breed creativity, as they say. You're wrong. I say limitations needs creativity. And then I brush. No, you pet. Pet? You pet? I'm sorry if I'm a tiny bit more like loosey goosey, but I haven't talked with you for a while, so I'm just I'm really happy to be here. I, ho I'm ho I hope you're still here and haven't quit the video yet. Uh, if you have, then I can say whatever I want about you, because you're no longer here. So then, mm -hmm. Let's start! We all know the cat keyboard. My one hit wonder, only success. That's the one I used! That's the one he used! So we're not gonna use that. We're probably not gonna use that one either. This one is kind of annoying. Great start! We're not gonna keep that. But what I'm thinking is that I can save the kick drum and snare? The snare kinda sounds like the kick drum though. That's perfect though, because we can just delete it and use snare from the frog. But I, I wanna separate the hi-hat from the kick drum thingy on different tracks at least. And then maybe quit the cat keyboard, move over to the frog, talk a tiny bit about the frog, and we will uh, get back to the cat keyboard when we wanna meow. That just became really confusing. Cause I took out the snare sound, and then I made more of a kick drum pattern than it had. However, uh, before we try to play to that, let me uh, show you why this one is awful. Four sounds, just like you would assume that a drum kit has, but they can be frog sounds. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. So we have rock, which is this one. 
And then we have World. And Electro Pop. And Urban. So those are the drum kits. But as you can hear, if you press one, it counts in. And then a song starts. And you can play that drum kit. And you can take out the drum track from this song. But then if you stop the song, it's back to the first drum kit. Meaning that you can never play the fun drums, except the rip it, rip it. Rip it. And that sucks, because then you only, like, you can play it by continuously pressing, but you can't, like, leave it in another drum kit than the first one. And uh, I actually sat through an entire song to see if, okay, if I let it play the entire song, and, and then I go back. Go back? Uh, and then I play. Uh, will it be those sounds? And it was not. Yeah, I, I guess I can play it like that. That's gonna be really boring to do. <laughs> Don't steal my show. Can we, can we, let's just jump past this so nobody has to see me do it. Uh, sounds like this now. Kinda cool, right? A lot of delays action and a lot of EQing because <laughs> noise. But I also have this. So that's just a crash. And it's uh, reversed. If we wanna make it big. Hard to speculate what to do. <laughs> Let's. Because <laughs> it all depends on this one that we're gonna move over now. To so the dog. Has an acoustic guitar in it and an electric guitar and a lot of noise. We're gonna get to that, I think, later. We can also play it. They're all major chords, which is perfect for a song <laughs> but we can layer those sounds so we can layer an acoustic track and an electric track let's just figure out what to play first no electric is kind of cool Overtones. Kinda nice, right? However, little known trick for you here. If it's a uh, stinky floater mediocre, what you do is you reverse it. Huh? That's so cool! How do you do that? I don't know. He must be super good music producer. Ah! <laughs> That's so kind of cool. I really want to add a bass here to just get some depth into it. Uh, and none of these has a low range, but I did cheat in the first cat video, so I might as well cheat in the same way in this video. Bit Commander, Earthquaker for anyone. Wonders. Maybe I can clean it up a tiny bit. I was playing upside down. We can do that later. Maybe we want to have it moving. Yeah, that's so much better. Meow, 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 meow.
Meow, 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 Sparkle. 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 Sparkle.